On today's Top Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how we can take a Nexus and X Particles fluid simulation and how we can create a fluid setup so we get a constant infinite stream or flow of liquid. So this is obviously good for river type scenes or also for more abstract scenes like this one. So let's get started and we'll jump in. In our scene, we have our rocks geometry with an X particles collider tag on. We need to get a fluid container set up first. Let's bring in a cube to do that. We'll put that in our utilities. This cube, we're going to call it, uh, let's call it fluid container. All right. And with that fluid container, let's just eyeball this. So we want it to be a bit longer than our rocks slightly wider than our rocks as well that looks good and then just lift it up oh look we've got a rock poking through there so let's make it slightly wider let's go to x-ray mode so we can just see that yep yeah, that's looking good and then we'll lift that fluid container up a bit so that's uh, looking very good now what I want to do is actually duplicate this I want two of these and it'll become clear why in a minute so let's just duplicate that one and this one we're going to call it uh, not fluid container let's call this one fluid kill and I'll just switch that one off for now so our fluid container is going to contain our particles within it so we need a collider tag let's go to tags extensions insidium XP collider we want no bounce or friction and we want the normals to be inside we want to contain it within this cube now we don't want to fully contain it we want them to be able to escape one side we want to open up this side of our cube so to do that let's highlight the fluid container hit C to make it editable and then we can go to the polygon mode select this side delete and now we have an open container all right very good now what we want to do is bring in an emitter for our base particles so we're going to go to emitters let's bring in a emitter we're going to make it a box shape and then I'm going to go hit F5 for my orthographic views and I'm going to go to my top down view let's maximize this and then use these emitter handles just to eyeball to make that approximately the same size as our collision geometry so something like that slightly under is better than slightly over that looks good then hit f5 for our views again and i'll go to my right view here and it doesn't need to be this big it's 100 centimeters tall we don't need that let's say 35 and then let's just move it down so it's near the bottom of that container perfect let's hit f1 for perspective view now we'll go to the emission tab of that emitter we're going to put it in shot mode hexagonal grid and then come down and we'll remove the speed radius at three so now if we hit play we'll have lots of static particles within our container all right so let's bring some physics into the scene we're going to go to nexus and we're going to bring in a nexus gravity and let's put this down to say 300 and we're going to bring in a nexus nx fluids solver this is going to be in the default SPH liquid mode. We're going to put the substeps up to four for slightly more accuracy. So now we've got gravity in the scene and the fluids. We're going to start solving. And because the box is open, the particles are escaping. That's what we want. But we don't need to calculate all of these escaped particles. So let's kill them off. That's why we created our fluid kill container here. So we're going to go to Nexus. We're going to bring in an NX kill modifier. We're going to set it to object mode, drag in our fluid kill object and say if the particles are outside the volume of that object, then kill them. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's activate that fluid kill. We'll make that invisible and our container invisible. Now we've killed that. Those particles that escape will be killed and no longer be calculated. Yep, yeah, that's working. Let's change the display mode of these fluid particles. We'll go to the emitter display and change the color mode to gradient parameter uh, and let's map this default blue and white gradient to not the age but to the speed of the particles in auto and now we're going to get something like this now what we're going to do is encourage the flow of particles in this direction just by angling our gravity so let's get our gravity mod lift it up so we can see it it's pointing straight down and hit rotate 
and let's just angle it so it's going to nudge it's going to help the particles along in that plus z direction and there look we're getting this obvious stream of particles now very good but now that we've got that we are losing particles here obviously so what we need to do is pump some more in at this end so let's go to our emitters object tab create a new emitter this one we're going to make it a box and we'll move it let's highlight that emitter and move it over here so we can see all right so we want this box to be much smaller we want it to be a bit wider and quite slim and we're going to fit this in in this end here look something like that lower that down a little bit and then with this we are going to go to our emission we want this to be a continuous emission so we're going to have it in hexagonal mode which will emit all frames by default we don't want them to be packed as as tightly in though let's just make that a bit bigger uh, we don't need 100 percent we can space them out a little bit which will give us fewer particles so let's space it at 200 and then take away the speed so now if we hit play we're going to get particles emitting from here and pumping new particles into the sim as those old particles are coming out yep and we're getting this constant flow now we haven't got quite got enough so we could either reduce that spacing that we put in that emitter or we could look just increase it the size of the emitter which is going to put more particles in so let's say something like that and let's just get rid of some of this viewport furniture. I'm going to go to my gravity, make that invisible. I'm going to go to my emitter display and switch off draw emitter. And go to this one, switch off draw emitter. And now you can see that we're starting to get this continuous particle stream in our setup. So that's looking very cool and this is how we can get something if you're wanting to make a riverbed or whatever this is obviously a very simple um, basic setup but it's giving us a continuous flow of particles in one direction because we have this open-ended container very cool so just finally um, the way in which in our stylized beauty we got those nice glowing particles was we had one more um, emitter so if you have a look in our scene you can see that we've actually got this uh, join object here and it's called glow emitter object and if I open this up it's lots of spheres in a join object let's make those visible and these have just been positioned around our rocks and all that we did we'll make that invisible again we added one more emitter so let's go to emitters create emitter we're going to go to object and make it object mode drag in our glow emitter join object go to our emission we're going to go to shot hexagonal let's space this at say 200 that might be too much but let's have a look we'll put our speed on uh, zero the radius must be the same with an SPH fluid solver I should have, should have said this earlier every particle must emit uh, particles of uh, emitter must emit particles of exactly the same size so three is correct we'll go to the display let's display these as circles filled and we'll make them white and we'll go back to the emission tab and let's have these shooting out on say frame six once our current start and you'll see that we get our these will be our glowing particles and because we've got these nice flowing currents they'll move along accelerate and then illuminate what would be the darker fluid particles so that's how we can set up a basic uh, system where we're going to get this continuous flow of water like a river system with these nice currents and how we can use different um, uh, different levels of emitters for different particle effects.